Hey folks, it's Ryan Goodman from agricultureproud.com. Here's a little bit of a blog update. I know it's been a long summer, but it's hard to believe it's already August. Here in Middle Tennessee on the farm, we dealt, dealt with quite a bit of drought, like much of the country. It's impressive how much of the country this drought actually, actually expands to. In the last month here in Middle Tennessee, we've been blessed to receive over 10 inches of rain. And this has really greened things up. Before the rains came, our pastures were pretty much depleted. We were feeding some hay and some extra silage, but our, and our corn was really wilting, and a lot of it in the area actually died back. We haven't had it near as bad as the folks up in Indiana, Illinois, uh, Western Kentucky, and Arkansas. <clears throat> Since these rains, our pastures have really grown back and the corn has greened back up. The silage for a lot of corn will actually be a really poor quality and that will really affect a lot of farmers and ranchers feeding the silage during the winter months until we get our new crop in. So milk production will definitely be reduced and it wouldn't surprise me if weaning weights on a lot of calf crops were reduced and cows <clears throat> cow costs during the winter for feeding will really be a, a lot bigger. For my folks back in Arkansas, my family has really been in the heart of the drought all season long. My folks have really not received a lot of rain. However, at, the, at my dad's house specifically, they've received some, some brief rain showers in the last couple weeks and things have kind of greened up. But a lot of our pastures are completely brown. <clears throat> marketing, uh, cattle marketing numbers this summer have really doubled or tripled in a lot of auction barns in the Arkansas region. A lot of producers are selling out their cow crops because they simply do not have the feed to feed their cattle through the winter. This will really become a big problem as our calf crop numbers this year will be drastically reduced and next year a lot of producers will be looking for cattle to buy back <clears throat> as, as, people get, uh, as people get grass back for the spring. However, this winter cow costs are going to be really high because a lot of producers are going to have to buy all their hay and all their feed and so the wise choice is really to cull down the herd and, or to sell out in some cases and uh, to be able to buy back when the market demands. It's been a really really long summer. Um, I've, I've been involved in some research out here and it's really uh, interesting to get involved in the research process. Um, I've done a lot of my master's thesis, my literature review, those long hours in the, in the office get kind of hard, uh, but that's part of grad school and part of growing. And, uh, and I, I, learned a lot, I learned as much from uh, being out in the field and talking to different producers at different field days across the state as I do kind of uh, in my classroom studies. So it's, it's really been an enjoyable summer. Unfortunately, at the end of August, I'm going to have to go back to classes and go back to the daily grind on campus. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's part of, of learning and, and gaining an education, you know, in the classroom. And hopefully I can apply that, that knowledge learned uh, to my skills that I've learned all of my life um, next, at the end of next year when I uh, go to be looking for a job or, or move on to my next, next path in life. And, uh, and it will be truly a great experience to apply those skills. <clears throat> My, uh, my summer's been pretty exciting, my advocacy front. Um, I've started writing some, some pieces for uh, CNN's, uh, CNN's uh, food page, Eatocracy, and uh, that's really been a great opportunity to expand some dialogue with, uh, with consumers that are already talking about food, and food choices and food sources. Uh, so to be able to, uh, to add a perspective from a farmer, uh, not only an organic or natural farmer, but a, but a conventional voice and, and explain some of these practices is, is really a great opportunity to connect and expand. And uh, I'm looking forward to the opportunities that uh, as that continues to grow and develop and uh, hopefully to reach out and, and see a few other folks. If you're in Kansas City this week, uh, this August, coming up at the end of the month, I'll be there for the Ag Chat Foundation Conference. I'm really looking forward to talking to a lot of other advocates uh, for agriculture and ag nerds, as we call ourselves, and uh, getting to, to share some of my blogging tips and experiences, and hopefully learn a lot of other, uh, lo learn a lot of other tools from others using social media. When you get 100 people in a group like that, uh, there's a lot to be learned by everyone. Um, in October, I'm also looking forward to getting to go to Orlando, Florida, to speak at the uh, Florida Institute of Agriculture annual meeting. Um, I, I look forward to meeting the folks down there in Florida and uh, getting to share my story. So if you're not already, go ahead and follow my blog and you can subscribe at agricultureproud.com or uh, find me on Facebook at the uh, I Am Agriculture Proud uh, Facebook page or on Twitter. You can follow me, AR underscore ranch hand. And uh, I, I really look forward to, to connecting with more people, talking about food. Um, hey, I'm a college guy, a 20, 23, almost 24 year old, and I love to talk about food. Uh, so I love to share, uh, love to share my farming experiences and uh, connect with that uh, that food that's on our plate. So I uh, hope you're having a great summer, and uh, hopefully next time I'll uh, be able to find another spot on the farm, even if I'm on campus, to uh, to update you on things, how are they going. So 
go ahead and be out there and share your story about agriculture and, and your passion. Uh, invest in it and expand upon that passion and share it with others. And I challenge you to think about why you are proud to be a part of agriculture. Have a great day.